All right, guys, this is Mobile Gamer Nerd, and this is the Mobile Gamer Nerd Podcast. This is going to be part two of the uh, Super Nintendo kind of run-through of a bunch of games that are kind of fun and kind of cool, and this is actually going to be the second time I recorded it because it failed the first time I did it. Very annoying, and uh, so it's going to be a little bit shorter this time because I'm going to speed through a couple more <laughs> things that I know that I didn't want to talk about anyway, so it works out in a, in a way. So here we go. So Evo, Search for Eden. It looks like a giant whale running through the water. I don't know what the hell that game's about, but uh, yeah, you might be interested in giant whales running through the water. If you are, then Evo Search for Eden is the game for you. Uh, ESPN had a bunch of games in here for baseball, hockey, Speed World, uh, Sunday Night Football, all really interesting games. Uh, Earth Defense Force was another one of those R-type type our type type games where you have the spaceship and you fly through uh earthbound is an rpg that i personally only played a couple times i never really got super into it but i know a couple of my friends were really really into that game so if you're looking for one of those uh, rpg type games where you fight a bunch of monsters this one's cool because you use like your kid you're a bunch of kids and there's like aliens i think are inv invading or something and you get to beat the crap out of people with like baseball bats and your your armor is like baseball caps and like coats and stuff like that so it's like very like it's RPG with realistic aspects, I guess you could say is the best way to put it, uh, even though it's aliens attacking, which doesn't really happen. Uh, Earthworm Jim was a great game. There was one and two that had a giant uh, worm in a spacesuit and a gun, and it used to shoot things, and it was kind of fun. So that's something you're interested in, then you're great. Uh, Eek the Cat was a game that was a side-scrolling game. I definitely never played it, but I've heard of it, and it was interesting. Uh, Emmett Smith's football, you had soccer. Equinox is basically uh, one of those games where the 3D aspects started coming into Super Nintendo. And by, by, by 3D, I don't mean actually really 3D, kind of more side scrolling 3D, where it was basically almost like Qbert like, where you would jump up and down like little squares like that. Uh, but you fight, and it was weird because there was another game like that that I just started playing. I, I forgot what it was called. I have it on here. And uh, it made it a little hard to do platforming because they did put platforming into those types of RPG games. And it was hard to really tell where the platform was, especially if the platform was going from like, um, from was that north, northwest to southeast. It was just awkward to try to time the jump because you didn't really know where the block was. And that's basically what Equin Equinox is. Uh, the fighting was always interesting because you're like, you never knew which direction the monster was going. And for some reason, you always missed. But yeah, those games were fun. Equinox is a pretty good game. Um, football, more football, and mountain bikes had a lot of games on here. There was enter, enter oh, sorry, Exertainment, uh, mountain bike rally, and those are like the Excite bike of the newer version. There's a lot of Grand Prix games like Exhaust Heat. So if you like driving little cars fast, if you like going 60 miles an hour, you'd be great. And and that leads us into F, which is one of the best if not the best racing game ever made on Super Nintendo, and that is F-Zero. Yes, one of the best games ever made for racing. If you like racing games, and I'm not even into them, and I freaking love this game, it's basically you drive a bunch of spaceships around. It's kind of like the Mario Kart of the old day, except there was no shells that you throw at people. Uh, you know, That'd be cool if you had a banana in a spaceship and you threw it out, but no, you don't have that. And uh, you just drive around the track, and the music was great. It was really fast. There was turbo boosts. It was really cool. They really... Did some good stuff in that game. So if you haven't played F Zero Racing, go play it now. Pole position, also in that Grand Prix kind of thing. There was one and two. Um, Race of Champions, same thing. F One Rock. Those are all like the Grand Prix type games and World World Championship Edition Europe. All of these are all just Grand Prix stuff. FIFA is all over the place. There was like seven Fifas on uh, PS on a uh, Super Nintendo, and I never played one of them. But if you like soccer, and then you're great. Then there was a game that's really freaking dumb. Probably the dumbest game I've ever played, but I do love it. It's really fun. It's called Faceball 2000. Now, essentially, you're just a face. Like, that's it. The whole game is a 3D dungeon crawler, kind of, but not really an RPG. And you just run around and shoot faces in the face. Like, that's it. You shoot faces in the face, and you have to find stairs to get to the next level. And you just keep going until you get killed. I think it's like three times. That's how, that's how the old games work. Uh, there's just a bunch of smiley faces running around. There's circles. There's like Pac-Man ghosts. It looks like Pac-Man and Diablo had a baby, and it's the stupidest thing ever. But yeah, if you haven't played it, Faceball 2000, go look it up and play it now. It's really fun. Falcon is a shooting kind of Top Gun kind of game if you want to fly a jet. There's Family Dog USA. It's literally just a dog in a house. 
He's a really cute dog, though. I don't know exactly what that game's about. Uh, Family Feud was out. That's They had a lot of game shows. You're going to see a big pattern here of games that are basically based on cartoons and or movies. It seemed to be the only thing they knew how to do, and unfortunately, they did it poorly because most of those games are freaking terrible. Yeah, terrible. And uh, Fatal Fury, those are all the fighting games that were really cool. If you like fighting each other and beating the crap out of people, dude was wearing a... Uh, the Michael J. Fox from Back to the Future vest and a trucker hat. Yeah, interesting stuff. Uh, Fever Pitch, the soccer, you got fighting history. Final Fantasy's Mystic Quest, great game. It's basically a ripoff of Final Fantasy, just a little bit different. You basically have a 3D fight screen where it comes up. I don't know if you ever played Final uh, Fantasy Star. What is that? Two and three where like you come up and you see the, the, your person's uh, body and then they just throw stuff to like hit. This is basically that, except you see the whole character, and it's very Final Fantasy, old school Nintendo kind of look. Like it's just like your little sprite, and you, you're a big sword would come out of the screen and just hit the enemy. Uh, very cartoony, really cool game. If you haven't played it, Mystic Quest. If you're into Final Fantasy, this would be a game you'll love. Uh, that's a great game. Speaking of Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy two and three were on here. That is the one with Cecil for Final Fantasy II. That's the, that's the version we're talking about. And uh, Final Fantasy III is the one with Terra. So, yeah, I know there's a bunch of different names and numbers and all that crap, depending on which version you played and whether or not it was the American version or not. But Final Fantasy II and three, really good games. I played through both of them numerous times. They've been remade to crap. It's, it's crazy. Uh, Final Fight, more Final Fight two, three, and Final Fight Guy. Yeah, there's actually a Final Fight Guy. It's called. I don't know why I have to say it like that. Gay. <laughs> uh, but Final Fight's fun. Uh, Final Knockout. I don't even know what that is. Uh, there's Fire Striker, where you basically, I guess it looks like it looks like a, a puzzle game, kind of like Lolo, if you ever played Nintendo. It's a really dumb little game called Lolo with these little ball guys. Little, they look like Eminem heroes with really short feet instead of long legs. And uh, yeah, which actually reminds me of the Bubblegum game. What is it called? Bubblegum Quest or something? I don't know. It's, it's a mobile game. And it's a uh, gumball quest, maybe. Either way, it's a really stupid game, and you'll love it. If you if you like RPGs, go play that. That's actually really fun. Uh, Firearm, I don't know what that is, but it looks like a Contra-type game. There's a game called The Firemen. It's a European game, apparently. And uh, it's about a bunch of guys running around with their shirt off, spraying water on their chest. Uh, actually, that's not what it is. It's just a bunch of guys shooting fire. But... I mean, it is what it, it is what you want it to be. So I don't know. I've never played the game. So maybe it is a bunch of guys getting watered down. You don't know. Firepower 2000. That looks like kind of like your, uh, it looks like Metal Gear almost. A little weird. Fire Team Rogue. I never played it, but it looks very Shinobi esque. A uh, little dark, a little Castlevania esque too. Fire Team Rogue. I'd have to try it and see what it's about. First Samurai. Obviously, you're a samurai and you kick the crap out of people. Flashback. This one looks kind of like a, uh, a realistic kind of. Uh, Probably like a puzzle, more puzzle teaser than anything else. It doesn't really look like uh, kind of Jurassic Parky. Uh, Flintstones had a bunch of games in here. This is where we're going to start seeing a lot of the games that are based on cartoons and movies. Flintstones 1 and 2, you can beat the crap out of people with a bat and be Fred Flintstone, so that's exciting. You have Foreman for real, not the fake version, but uh, George Foreman doing some boxing. Uh, Frank Thomas's Big Hurt Baseball. If you want to get hurt and play baseball, you're in luck. Uh, Frogger. Actually, Frantic Flea. It looks like a giant bug. And it looks very cartoony. Almost in the vein of there's a game. There was a game. I forgot what it was called. Oh, my God. It's going to bother me now. It was like a comic booky kind of game that came out that was really big for a little while. Like something Joe. I don't know. If you remember, let me know. I forgot. Uh, but that's kind of the graphics that it looks like. Frogger was a trash game. I don't know why people like jumping across roads with frogs. I know it's a classic, but uh, yeah, I hate that fucking game. It's so terrible. Full Power, Japan. So there's a bunch of motorcycle games if you're into that kind of stuff, like GP and GP2 and GPRS, Rapid Stream. Basically, for those people who like to uh, ride crotch rockets for fake, you're in luck. Uh, Galaxy Wars is basically... Galaga. <laughs> it's like an old school Atari game. It's kind of funny. Um, you've got Gemfire, which kind of reminds me of almost like a, uh, like a, what is that stupid game? Th uh, Three Kingdoms kind of stuff, uh, Risk, like that kind of thing where you take over a map in war, kind of like Genghis Khan 2, also Clan of the Grey Wolf. That looks kind of like that too, but seems to be a little more RPG esque. Uh, Ghoul Patrol, I don't know what that is, but apparently you run around and shoot ghouls. It looks like a, 
like you run around like actually shooting things in like a 3D environment. So that's kind of cool. Uh, there's a game called Gods that I'm actually interested in playing. I might have to give it a shot because I don't remember it. It's 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 vaguely familiar, but it looks almost like uh, you're playing also once again like that that Metroid Castlevania kind of type game. That seems to be the big thing. Goof Troop, if you like Goofy, uh, Gradius Three was basically the the secondary game during that time of uh, like R Type was the first one, and then Gradius. Basically, you just drive, you fly in space, you shoot things, you kill aliens, and you go home. But Gradius was essentially the one that was like also big at the time. Uh, Mickey has a bunch of different games in here. This is Great Circus. There was the uh, the Mystery Castle of Illusion was the one I think I remember playing the most. Uh, Great Waldo. I don't really want to find Waldo. I don't really care where he is. Um, there's a game called Hagain. Hagain, the the Final Conflict, looks like also like Shinobi and that type thing, Ninja Gaiden kind of game. Uh, Hammerlock Wrestling, those games were always dumb and fun. There was actually, I don't remember what system it was for, but they had a, if you remember Muscles, that was from a long time ago, like little these little pink wrestling uh, figures. I think it was awesome, and I used to play that game all the time. It was really dumb. Uh, Hardball, you got some uh, interesting stuff in here. Harvest Moon is a franchise that has been around forever, and uh, it was on Super Nintendo. If you like farming and growing things and playing with cows, then you are in luck, because that game will get you everywhere. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's been on every system. I think it's literally been on every single system. That, that's how crazy it is. Mostly Nintendo type stuff. I don't know if they have the, the, the uh, what is it? For the rights to it now or not, but I'm pretty sure I've seen it on almost every single freaking system. All right, there's a game called I'm, not, I'm gonna say this wrong, Hebereki's Popito. Yeah, and I don't know if that's Spanish or if it's just fun, but po Popito is funny. I don't know why I say it like that. I've said Popito, uh, Heberex Popito. It looks weird. I don't know what the hell it is. It looks very awkward and strange, but if you're interested in that kind of thing, look it up. There's also Heberex Popone, and that is the European version. They're both European, apparently. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It looks like a puzzle game, maybe, with like little fart monsters. I said fart monsters. I don't know if that it's actually a thing. I don't know if a fart monster actually exists, but that's what I'm saying. Hit the Ice, if you like that hockey stuff. Home Alone, if you like the movie, the game probably sucks. But yeah, Home Alone had a game. You can fight off attackers. <laughs> you can go watch Dustin's jo Dojo. Uh, if you know that reference, I apologize. Uh, Home Alone 2, had it, they had another one where he's in New York. So yeah, Home Improvement actually has a game. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, why does Home Improvement have a game? You, you, what do you do? Run around with a hammer and a nail gun and shoot things and be like, Arr? like, that's, yeah, no. Uh, Hook had a game. So that's fun. Uh, there was a bunch of Grand Prix games, tons of them. There's a game called The Humans. There's a game called Hungry Dinosaurs, which kind of looks like Sudoku meets Klax and Tetris. Uh, real weird game, but it's got Hungry Dinosaurs in it. So if you like dinosaurs, Hunt for Red October, funny enough, I just watched this movie the other day. And uh, I had to, I was going through Tubi because Tubi's free and it's awesome. And they have actually good movies, unlike, you know, other garbage kind of tv apps netflix <laughs> uh yeah the tubi's fun it's free you got to watch commercials but whatever you get to watch some of the old movies and uh hunt for, red hunt for red october's on there it's got the late great sean connery in it and it's about a sub that has silent propulsion that oh i won't get into the whole thing but it has silent propulsion and it's kind of fun uh more dramatic than anything so if you're looking for action all day it's not that uh it does have action but it's not that kind of movie but a great movie nonetheless. There's Hyper V Vault. Hyper Zone was another one of those car games where you just drive through. I remember playing it, but it kind of basically looks like a ripoff of F Zero, but it was really fun. Uh, Ignition Factor. I don't know what that is. Here we go. Illusion of Gaia. That is one of those games that's really cool. It's an RPG that came out. Uh, it's basically in the vein of like Zelda, where you run around and actually poke things with your swords. Uh, I don't remember it too well, but I know it was good, and I remember that I did play it, so it was fun. Uh, there's a game called Incredible Crash Dummies, so if you want to smash into dummies, then you're in luck. Uh, Incredible Hulk and Indiana Jones both had games on Super Nintendo. Yeah, they, they just ripped off every kind of movie, comic book, cartoon thing. You can run around in Indiana Jones and have a giant ball kind of fall on your face. Inspector Gadget had a freaking game. So yeah, if you need that, uh, I'll get you, Gadget. Yeah, I hope that was a really good imitation of the Gadget guy while he's petting his damn cat. Uh, there was a bunch of tennis tours, Iron Commando, and I hope it also went through the mic really. Like, like I hope it like, if you have a subwoofer while you're listening to this, it's like, I'll get you. I hope it sounds really deep. Uh, Itchy and Scratchy had a game. And I, I forgot it then, and I forgot it now. I forgot what, what what show it was from. Was that Simpsons? Was that 
Itchy and Scratchy. I don't remember. I really don't remember the Itchy and Scratchy show. I remember that. I just don't remember which freaking cartoon. It was from a cart. It was a cartoon in a cartoon, and it was good. It was good. Uh, Izzy's Quest for Olympic Rings. I don't really remember that one too much. Lord of the Rings had a game. Uh, James Bond had a game. So if you like being a secret agent, you can play James Bond. Or if you want, you can play James Pond, and you can be a tadpole frog guy who is also a secret agent. I'll let you decide which one's better. Obviously being a frog agent, but I'll let you decide. Uh, Jeff, shoot him up. Jelly Boy. For some reason I remember that game. I think I played it a lot. Uh, Jeopardy. I wasn't into any of the games that were like game shows. I could care less about that stuff. Uh, the Jetsons had a freaking game in here. Jim Power, The Lost Dimension. I don't even know what that is, but there you go. Jim Power. Joe and Mac was a big game. Uh, it was a bunch of caveman guys back bopping people in the head, killing pterodactyls, taking names. You know how that works. Uh, they had like three games, which is kind of fun. John Madden had a bunch of things. Judge Dredd, which was actually, well, unfortunately, a good movie. I liked it. I, I, you know, I, that's a strong way to say it. I don't know. I don't know if I would say a good movie. I liked it. That's what I'm going to say. I liked Judge Dredd. It was a cornball movie, but I enjoyed it. And we're talking about the old one with Sylvester Stallone. We're not talking about the new one. The new one's trash. It's garbage, and don't ever watch it. Uh, Jungle Book had a freaking game. Jungle Strike had a game. That's just like helicopters and blowing crap up. Jurassic Park had a bunch of games on here. I don't know how many dinosaurs you can kill or how many dinosaurs you can watch. I mean, at some point, you got to realize that you're building a park with dinosaurs and it always falls apart and everyone dies. So maybe just don't do that anymore. Problem solved. Uh, Justice League Task Force. So yeah, they were stealing that too. Uh, Kablooey looks like one of those bomb games. That's fun. Uh, Kawasaki had a bunch of games if you like that stuff. Kendo Rage. I've heard about it. Never played it, but it sounds pretty fun. Uh, Kickoff 3 is a European what is that? Soccer? So soccer. There's a game called Kids Clown and Crazy Chase. And you're a clown which looks like you're running around punching bushes. That is... I hope somebody actually knows this game because Maybe that's an accurate portrayal of what the game is. I don't know, but that's what it looks like. It looks like you're a clown with a balloon and you're, punch, you're punching bushes. Yeah, I'm sticking by it. Killer Instinct, great fighting game. Even though I wasn't into fighting games, uh, Killer Instinct was a great game and I enjoyed playing it. I remember the robot guy with the claws and stuff and there was a giant, I think there was a giant like polar bear or some crap like that. Yeah, real fun stuff. King Arthur had a bunch of games in here. King of Dragons, King of Fighters, like a lot of fighting games back then. King of Monsters, which basically looks like Rampage in 3D. Uh, if you like Godzilla and you like punching each other, then you're in luck. Uh, Kirby had a, like a ton of games. I mean, Kirby's Dreamland, obviously, great game. Um, Krusty Super Fun House, another Simpsons knockoff game, basically where you're a clown whose name is Krusty from the show, and you beat people up. I don't know if you beat people up, but I never played it. So, uh, Lagoon was another really good RPG, and uh, I remember that it's basically Zelda. Is basically what it is, Legend of Zelda, and it's really good game. That's it. That's, I'm not going to go into it too far, but yeah, if you like RPGs like Zelda, Lagoon is another little... It's not going to be as good as Zelda, obviously, but it's good. Um, Last Action Hero, if you like that movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger, and yeah, that was actually a really dumb movie. Rubber Baby Bucket Bumpers. Yeah, great game. Great, great movie. Terrible game. Lawnmower Man was a movie also. Uh, Legend is a game. I don't know if that was based on the movie Legend or just a different game called Legend. Then there's Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, arguably the greatest game ever made for Super Nintendo. Uh, literally a great game. Uh, I think it was epic that you think you kind of think you beat the game and then you get pushed into the dark world and then all of a sudden the whole game just reopens again. So that's kind of fun. You're like, oh, I finished the whole map. Like, no, you didn't. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that was fun. Legend of Mystical Ninja. I don't remember that. Lemmings is basically where you push these little guys off. You stop these little guys from jumping off a cliff. That's basically it. Lester the Unlikely. Uh, I mean, I have something about that. Lester the something else from a movie called Zack and Miri Make a What? Yeah. Uh, Lethal Enforcers. Lethal Weapon. Another one. He's too old for this stuff. You know what I mean? Um, Lion King had a game. Lock on Looney Tunes had games in here. If you like being a Looney Tune character, uh, Lost Vikings looks really dark, very go ghosts and goblin meets like Castlevania esque. I mean, you're a Viking with a beard and you punch things, I guess. I don't know how that works. Uh, Lucky Luke. I don't remember. I feel like that game was dirty. <laughs> uh, Lufia and the Fortress of Doom. That was another one of those games that was like, uh, like in the vein of like, uh, what is that? Breath of Fire and 
Final Fantasy, like that type of stuff. It looks pretty cool. I remember playing the Lufias. There was a Lufia in the Fortress of Tomb. There was Rise of the Sinestrals. There was Europe version of Lufia. But yeah, definitely a fun game if you're into that kind of stuff. Uh, I think you would definitely enjoy Lufia. Uh, into the M's, we had a lot of Madden. Obviously, Madden's going to take over the whole thing. Magic Boy, I never played it. Magic Sword, I never played it, but it looks like Golden Axe kind of type stuff. Uh, more Mickey Mouse stuff, the Magical Quest, basically, starring Mickey. Um, you have Manchester United, if you like soccer. Mario is missing. Mario Paint, if you liked. Basically, Mario Paint was an Etch-A-Sketch on a screen. That's essentially what it was, and it just happened to have more colors. That was it. Really dumb game. I used to play it all the time, though. <laughs> I, it's funny when I, make, when I crap on a game, but then I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah I totally played mario's time machine a bunch of weird old games there's a lot of fishing games the fish master uh mark davis you've got marvel superheroes you've got frankenstein that was like kind of like castlevania and the same thing the mask another movie that had a freaking game made after it that was just another side scrolling mess math blaster if you like doing math and shooting things i mean who doesn't like that right it's like, what do you want to do today? I don't know. I want to freaking, I want to do some fractions and shoot aliens. Uh, Maui Mallard, that's the duck who is a ninja or something like that. Mech Row, sorry, Mecha Robot Golf. That's weird. Mech Warrior, Mech Warrior, and then Mega Man's, obviously. Mega Man 7, Mega Man Soccer. Mega Man X was my favorite of all the Super Nintendo ones. Um, I remember it was, when it was introduced, I was like, this is awesome. They started doing like the extra areas where you go back and find new things from in old levels. And it, it was just a really well-made game. And they made X2, 3, and a bunch of different ones. And I think all the ones in Super Nintendo were good. Megalomaniac, that one looks weird. Kind of like a building s s simulator, I guess. Uh, there's a bunch of metal games in here. Metal Combat, Metal Jack, Metal Marines, Metal Morph, Metal Warriors. Yeah, I guess they liked metal back then. There's a Michael Jordan game where he... I guess throws basketballs at monsters. The chaos in the Windy City. Yeah, I mean, that's what it looks like. It looks like he's running side-scrolling and throwing basketballs at people. Uh, Mick and Mac. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Mickey Mania, The Timeless Adventures. Um, Mickey's Playtown, Mickey's Ultimate Challenge. I told you he had a lot of games. Uh, Micro Machines, if you didn't know what those are. It was an old-school toy, basically just tiny little freaking cars that you would play with, and they had tiny little houses and tiny little fire departments and all that stuff, and tiny little roads, and you would push them around. It was really cool, and the, the guy who did the commercials talked really fast. He's like, buy some Micro Machines. Like, that's how he talked, and uh, it wasn't exactly like that, but, you know, if you don't know what it is, then who the hell cares? You're going to believe me anyway. So, yeah, that Micro Machines was fun. Might and Magic were basically your dungeon crawling type games, and uh, yeah, they were fun. Uh, Mighty Max, that was actually a cartoon, I believe, right? Mighty Morphin Power Rangers was definitely a TV show. Uh, but these are all fighting games. Like, they're all fighting. If you like side scrolling fighting games, Super Nintendo was like your jam. Or if you like RPGs like me. So there you go. There's a miracle piano teaching system. So if you want to learn piano, if you want to actually learn while you play video games, <laughs> Screw that crap. Uh, Mohawk and Headphone Jack. Don't know what that is. Monopoly. Never really played those. Obviously, the Mortal Kombat's were on here. There was a bunch on here. Um, I just like watching people get their face punched off. I sucked at the game. So, but yeah. And there's a game called Mr. Bloopy. Mr. Do, which is basically you dig through dirt. And then there's Mr. Nuts and Mr. Tough. So let's just review that real quick. All right. There's Mr. Bloopy, Mr. Do, Mr. Nuts, Mr. Tough. Those are all games that are on Super, Super Nintendo. <laughs> Mr. Do, Mr. Nuts, Mr. Tough, Mr. Bloopy. Yeah, there's a lot of them. And then there's Miss Pac-Man. So everyone knows that one. Then there's Muhammad Ali doing boxing, obviously. Uh, there's a weird samurai game called Musa, Musia, the classic Japanese tale of horror. So that sounds fun. I mean, maybe we'll give it a shot and see if it's fun. And then they did the European version of Mystic Quest. And that will basically be the end. Uh, we'll be stopping at M today. That's the end of uh, all the wonderful throwback games that are coming up on Super Nintendo. I'm actually kind of enjoying this because there's a bunch of games on there that I'm, I actually will go back and play now, like Mystic Quest and Lagoon. And I want to try out that uh, weird, some of the weird games, like the Viking games, um, definitely some of the car games, F-Zero, I'm definitely going back to play. Uh, yeah, those are the ones I'm thinking of. So if there's any that you're interested in playing, let me, let me know, leave a comment, tell me about it. You can send me a, a, a gift card that not a gift card uh a what, a postcard that's what i was thinking don't send me a gift card i don't need a game gift card you can send me a postcard that says hey man i really like this game i'm like but why we, why didn't you just comment i'm like because you told me to send a postcard uh <laughs> but yeah if you have any comments or anything like that feel free to leave them below and as always like share subscribe it helps the channel grow uh, i really enjoy watching this channel grow with you guys and uh i like doing more and more videos of different stuff so 
yeah, that's basically it for today. Uh, this is Mobile Gamer Nerd, and you guys take care.